Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for, you know, the end of December from now until the end of December. You know, but the timing is fluid, so keep that in mind. And not every reading is for you. This card just fell out of the deck. Pin, new job or career. So you are going to be starting something new. Maybe it's just starting to come to fruition now. Um, maybe it's just a plan. Um, but we have a new job career here. So what else do we have for cancer? Oh, there we got another one. Goldfish. Oh, increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. You could be starting a new career that uses your gifts, you know, your inner gifts in some way. So anyhow, what else do we have for cancer? Oh, we got another one. Basket. You feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. So there is something lacking. You're probably feeling it. There's obviously going to be a positive change if there has been something that is lacking. Whether it's love, money, or goals. There is. It looks positive, but let's see what we got. What do we have for Cancer? Messenger. We've been getting this card a lot. I see it in the Page of Swords a lot as well. So there is a message that is coming. It's either coming through one of your messengers or it's an actual person that is going to be giving you a message that affects your life. Ooh, time out, time out. So there's something, this is also cut to me, like, you know, when they're filming, it's like cut. So I don't know if there's a time out or somebody is getting cut from a situation. Um, what else do we have for cancer? I think you've gotten that one before. Ooh, rejection is God's protection. So I think that you have been protected from somebody. You may not be aware of it. Um, I do believe that your luck is going to change, okay? If you've been having bad luck in your life or there, you've been going through a period of stagnation, you've been rejected for a job or a position or a relationship, or you've been rejected for some other reason, I do believe your luck is going to change because we have this Sagittarius card. And Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, which is the planet of luck. And when I looked at it, that's immediately what I thought. So I do believe that your luck is changing, okay? Um, there may be a Sagittarius that is giving you the message. Maybe this is your messenger as well. I also feel like there could be somebody with an initial T that is, a, that is affecting you. You know, they see that their, their initial, their first name or their last name begins with T. Okay, it's not in the middle. It's not at the end. We're not going to go that far. Okay, it's at the beginning of their name, either the beginning of their first name or the beginning of their last name. Rejection is God's protection. Keep that in mind. Woo! You deserve love. You are lovable. You are lovable. Maybe you don't know that you deserve love. You deserve love. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. You deserve love. You deserve to be loved. Look, at interesting. You see the arrow? Okay, and we have the arrow in that Sagittarius card as well. So I wonder if you... Feels like you've been hit. You know, you've been somebody uh, abused you. They, they took advantage of you. That's what it looks like to me. Anyhow, we got one card that didn't come up from this deck. I don't know why, but I do have to look at it because I feel like it has to do with you. Oh boy, oh boy, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So, and I just happened to look on the bottom, so I gotta show you that as well. Trust, this situation is calling for you to have faith. If you have been rejected by somebody for some reason, whether it is a job or whatever, or a lover or whatever, 
it has happened for a reason because you deserve love. This person is not on your scope, okay? They're not on your level, all right? So that's the reason, okay? So anyhow, let's get these, this deck right here. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. You do deserve love. I can see that you've been rejected. Everything happens for a reason. Things are changing for the better. Luck is on your side. Consider this a lucky break if you have been rejected for whatever this is. God protected you, okay? Because you see the arrow, when you think about that arrow, you were going to have to defend yourself constantly. Maybe you've been defending yourself constantly. You've always had to be in defense mode. Who wants to live like that? Death card reversed, first card out. So this is resisting change. Five of Wands, there definitely could be an argument, there could be a fight, some sort of competition, there's definitely some sort of conflict here, tense situation. Wheel of Fortune reverse, right in the middle, so this is your bad luck, okay, clinging to the past, clinging to control, resisting change again. So we have resisting change twice, stuck, stuck, stuck in a cycle, stuck in an old cycle. Are you ever going to change the cycle? Is this the way that you want to live? You want to live in conflict? Death card in reverse. It's either death or life, okay? So do you want to live in conflict? Do you want to live in tension? Do you want to compete? Do you want to fight all the time? Is that what you want? Queen of Wands reversed. I think you're dealing with a very disagreeable person, okay? It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could also be a Scorpio. Um, it could be anybody. It doesn't really matter. It could be any sign. It does not matter. I feel like there's another woman here or there's a person that is very aggressive. It doesn't have to be a woman. It could be a man. This is somebody that is very aggressive, very disagreeable, very, very forceful. Um, this person is holding you back. Maybe talking behind your back, saying things about you uh, that is untruthful. It feels if, to me. It feels like it's a woman. I mean, it could be a man. It feels like it's a woman, though. I feel like we have a woman here that is as a stiff competitor of yours. This person doesn't like you at all. It could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person is causing conflict for you. Is trying to cause tension. That's another message all in itself. Okay. This person is holding on as well. So I don't know if you're in a third party situation where there is another woman that is holding on that is causing conflict and that won't be for everybody. There, I feel, feel, feel like there is another woman here that is causing conflict for your relationship. Okay, we got that out of the way. Devil reverse. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn as well, but this is breaking free from a toxic, unhealthy situation. Could be an addiction. Okay, whatever it is, it's only lust, it's, it's unhealthy, it's extremely unhealthy. If you don't break free, it's only going to get worse. This, you know, when this now this is mirroring the death card reverse, this is extremes, okay? When you get cards in reverse, it's extremes. Okay, this could be a disaster. This could even be, I mean, the devil reversed and the death reverse is, could be a death. I mean, I'm just saying this is extremely unhealthy. It's extremely, extremely, extremely unhealthy. If you don't break free, things are going to get worse. So you need, do need to break free from something that is uh, extremely unhealthy. It is holding you back. It is definitely holding you back. The wheel of fortune is reversed. Um, there's a lack of willpower. There's a lack of discipline. There's a lack of drive. There's a lack of desire. So... I feel like there's lust here. There's there's some sort of codependency that you need to take hold of. You need to take control of. You do. You need to change. You need to make some sort of change. You need to find a way to break free from it, okay? there's there's It's not bringing you any success. It's holding you back from success. This is extremely, extremely, extremely toxic, extremely unhealthy. All it does is bring tension to your life. I see a lot of tension. I see a lot of conflict and fighting and resistance. A lot of resistance. A lot. I see arguing. I see fighting. I see a setback. It, there could even be a horrendous loss with the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Because somebody can't find a way to take back control. I think that things are out of control. 
You need to take back control of your mind, of your, of your, of yourself. Is this the life that you want to live? Really ask yourself that question. You could be mad at me. I don't care if you hate me. I'm here to help people not keep them stuck in toxic cycles because we have a very fucking toxic cycle here where there's a lot of competition and there's a lot of fighting and there's a lot of conflict and there's a lot of resistance. A page of cups upright. Eight of pentacles. I told you, things are going to get better. Whoo! Empress reversed. Empress reversed. We got somebody here who doesn't know their value. Right underneath the Wheel of Fortune reversed. This is like a termination. It could be a termination of rights. It could be a termination of a pregnancy. It could be a loss. It could be a loss of a... I mean, the Empress reversed could be a loss of a... I, mean, I hate to say this, could be a loss of a child. Could also have something to do with a mother. We have a, we have a female here. I know that we have a female here that is very forceful. Empress reverse, Queen of Wands reverse. This female is very forceful. She's jealous. She's possessive. Um, she's unhealthy. She is uh, has affairs. She has affairs. She doesn't know her value. She doesn't know her worth. Um, this is a horrendous loss. This is a shocking, un unpredictable loss. It's because this person does not take care of things, does not even value herself. She can't even take care of herself, let alone another person. Um, a lot of conflict, a lot of fighting, a lot of tension, near-death experience. Could even be a death. I'm just being completely honest with you. I mean, we have the Wheel of Fortune reversed, the Devil reversed, and the Death reversed. Okay? extremely toxic, going overboard, out of control, out of control. There's something here that is out of control. But the Knight of Cups is a messenger of love, okay? This is somebody, this could be a healer, could be a somebody that is very supportive, that is coming in, somebody is coming in. This could be, I don't know if this is a counselor or a nurse or a caregiver, somebody that, that is, or somebody that is very intuitive that is coming in with a message. They're taking action. This is some, this is some, some, some sort of action, you know, heartfelt action, following the heart, following the intuition, putting in effort, working hard, using into Somebody is using their intuition. They are, they're, they're putting in effort to change. They're going to be putting in effort to change. It's definitely a very emotional time. It's extremely emotional. Extremely emotional. It is. You know, somebody may be expressing feelings to you. They may be putting in effort. And I'm just being honest. You got to be careful. You got to be careful because we have the emperor. It goes, it goes the Knight of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and then the Empress Reverse. You may have somebody that's coming in that is looking for a weak woman. We have the Queen of Wands reverse and the Empress reverse. That is a weak woman. And I, like I said, I don't care who likes me. That's not where I'm at in my life. Okay. Um, this is somebody that is very smooth talker. If it's somebody that speaks of love, that really knows how to speak love. Okay. This is somebody, and it could be a male or a female. This is somebody that comes in that is very charming. Okay. They're coming in. They're putting in a lot of effort. They're looking for a weak woman. They're looking for a weak woman who is codependent that can't be alone. Be careful. I'm just saying. Are you weak or are you strong? And I definitely have a weak woman here. Queen of Wands reverse, the Empress reverse. This is a woman that does not take care of herself. There is a horrendous loss here. There is definitely a horrendous loss. We have somebody here that is going to extremes. They're going overboard. They're doing too much. They're doing too much. And, you know, I don't know if, what kind of addiction this is, but I feel like it's addictions. And I don't know if it's a drinking or drug addiction or even pills because I feel like there's addictions here that are getting in the way. And that's not going to be for everybody. But when I just looked at this card, I pictured pills for some reason. You know, I don't know why. Str 
strength reverse. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. You're dealing with a Leo that is extremely unhealthy. It doesn't have to be a Leo. We also have Capricorn. Um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra. We have aggressive behavior, somebody that does not respect others, that has no respect for others. There's some sort of depression here, going overboard, no restraint, unable to restrain. Somebody can't restrain themselves. There definitely could be a fight. I don't know if it's fighting over money or it's, it's fighting over, we got somebody here that's definitely in their emotions. They're jealous. There's jealousy issues here. Deep, dark place. We got somebody here who's in a very deep, dark place. Breaking free. Breaking free. You're going to be breaking free from this. You are because the devil is reversed. But there's a lack of strength. Again, we got, there's control issues here. Somebody has some serious control issues. We got... We got the Wheel of Fortune reversed, the Queen of Wands reversed, the Strength reversed, the Empress reversed, those are, and the Devil reversed. There's some serious control issues here. Force, force, force. Somebody's trying to force something. This is like a horrendous loss of some sort. It is a setback. It's bad luck. It's bad luck. There's a fight here. We got somebody here that is resisting change. They will not change. They could end very badly with the devil reversed, mirroring the death reverse. If you don't break free, things are going to get worse. Uh, there's an abuse of power here. There's abuse, period. Uh, five of pentacles reversed. We do have a turning point. Thank the Lord. This is a turning point. Somebody, there's been some sort of abandonment. There's been some sort of neglect. There's a lack of self-confidence. Damn right there is. Queen of Wands reverse, strength reverse, Empress reverse. Lack of self-confidence, lack of willpower, lack of discipline. Can't restrain, can't restrain. Begging for attention, victim mentality. But we do have a turning point. Breaking free from this toxic situation. Getting help. Somebody may be getting some help. I, I feel like we do have a very supportive individual here. And I don't know if this is a counselor or a healer or a doctor or a nurse or somebody that is in a healthcare profession. This is what they do for a job. They're coming in to help. They're coming in to help to move somebody out of a situation. And I don't know whose situation this is. But there's been some sort of rejection. Definitely. Definitely that has made you feel less than worthy, that has made you lose your self-esteem, your self-confidence, and your self-worth, you got to take it back. You got to take it back. Okay, you got to fight for yourself. You got to take care of yourself. You got to take care of yourself because if you don't take care of yourself, there ain't nobody going to. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, we have the Magician card reversed. So this is no success. This is definitely an abuse of power we have some manipulation here we have something that this is i feel like we have an unplanned loss here i'm just being honest no success unwilling to take action or somebody's going to be doing something without thinking they may be going oh, this is definitely aggressive behavior could be even violence out of control, abuse of power. We definitely have somebody here that is abusing. This is definitely abuse. I feel like it definitely has to do with addictions. Help is somebody's going to be, it's almost like they're going to be forced to get out of this situation or forced to get help. New job, career, increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. Everything happens for a reason. It's our biggest, this is the loss. So it's our biggest losses that aid in our spiritual transformation. And this is about transformation because the first card out is a death card. And that's about transformation, but it is reversed. So it's been resisting this change, resisting this transformation, right? resisting this change there's going to be a force change i know there is because we have the devil reversed which is force the strength reversed which is force the empress reversed is force and the queen of wands reversed is force okay so we definitely have some force here 
We definitely do. There's been some sort of delay in this change coming because of the strong resistance and, and clinging to control. And yes, you have some control issues too. We definitely have a power struggle here. We have the fives, which are power struggles. So struggling with the competition, struggling with the, whatever the hell this is. Anyhow, um, there is some, some, some sort of support that is coming. Definitely. Definitely there is. You may be receiving an offer that breaks you free from this situation. That's exactly what it is, too. Let's get one more card. But you have to be willing to go in that direction. You've got to get your foot out of the fucking wheel. you got your foot in the wheel. It's like, no, I don't want to. Oh, yes. Step out of your fear. I see the I see the fear. We got the Queen of Wands reverse and the Strength reverse. There's so much fear of change, right? <laughs> Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is is it really worth it? Is it worth investing in something that is dead? It's a dead end. There's no more growth. Shouldn't you go someplace else? Isn't it time to plant those seeds someplace else? To me, this is a kind of relocation. It's time. Is it really worth investing in something where you've only had a little bit of success? If any. It's time to plant those seeds someplace else. It really is. This is taking a new adventure, going in a new direction. This is exciting. This is an offer or an invite. This is good news arriving, a new path opening up. So you are definitely going to be going in a new direction. You are. Congratulations. It doesn't look like it's going to be easy. I think it's forced change. I think there's an addiction here that is out of control. And I think it's about to come to a head. Whether it's a sexual addiction, drug addiction, whatever it is, there's an addiction. It could be a codependency. It could be an obsession with another person. Get prepared to deal with it because that's what's coming. But it breaks you free. Good luck. <laughs>